Hi everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to go over some practice questions for altered ventilation and diffusion as an introduction to pathophysiology. In this quiz, we'll review some of the major pulmonary system complications. I'll walk you through the answers and rationales for each question. Starting off with question number one, GON lesions or GONS complex refer to lesions seen in the lungs often caused by, and for each question I'll leave a bit of a break where you can pause the video and think about the answer. So the answer here is A, tuberculosis. GON lesions are often caused by tuberculosis infection in the lungs. Immune cells surround the site of infection, isolating the bacteria and preventing it from spreading. These lesions can eventually be seen by x-ray due to calcification. Question number two, the nurse is describing the different types of pneumothoraces to a family member of her patient. The nurse explains that the patient experienced a blank pneumothorax, where a wound acted as a one-way valve that prevented trapped air from exiting the pleural space. The answer is B, tension pneumothorax. In tension pneumothorax, the pleural injury acts as a one-way valve. As a result, the air can enter the pleural space during inspiration, but is unable to escape during expiration. With each inhalation, more air gets trapped inside the chest, leaving less space for the lungs to expand. Question number three, the most common cause of chronic bronchitis is... This one is C, cigarette smoking. Cigarette smoking is the number one cause of chronic bronchitis, which is the inflammation of the bronchial tubes. Question number four, you are caring for an anemic client. As the nurse, you expect that hypoxemia is more likely to occur prior to hypoxia. The answer here is A, true. An anemic client is lacking healthy blood cells or hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is required to transfer oxygen to the tissues. Low oxygen levels in the blood, hypoxemia, typically occurs before low oxygen in the body tissues, hypoxia. Question number five. Wheezing, bronchospasms, anxiety, and dyspnea are all major indicators of... The answer is D, an asthma attack. An asthma attack most accurately matches these symptoms. These symptoms are often caused by bronchial hyperresponsiveness to allergens or other stimuli. Question number six, you are caring for a client with COPD. The client has recently been unable to keep his COPD under control. Which of the following comorbidities is most likely the cause of the client's barrel chest? The answer here is B, emphysema. Most COPD clients will be diagnosed with some combination of either asthma, chronic bronchitis, or emphysema. Emphysema is the irreversible enlargement of the alveoli, leading to dead space in the lungs and the observable barrel chest. Question number seven, an accumulation of fluid in the alveoli accompanied by inflammation of the lungs is most likely... The answer is D, pneumonia. Pneumonia is the accumulation of fluid in the alveoli accompanied by lung inflammation and is usually caused by a bacterial or viral infection. And for the last question of this quiz, number eight, hypercapnia, also known as hypercarbia, refers to... This one is B, elevated carbon dioxide levels in the blood. This is the correct description of hypercapnia or hypercarbia. And that's it for our altered ventilation and diffusion quiz. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.